Hello guys! In this video I'm gonna take you with me in a journey of crafting the perfect cottagecore dress. Uh, side note, I have no idea how to sew pieces that you can actually wear. Uh, I can sew buttons or holes, little things like that, but nothing big yet. Uh, unlike my mom, my grandma and my great-grandma, uh, I feel like I'm betraying my family's legacy, but I will learn in the future, I promise. <laughs> so I saw this dress on Pinterest and decided to make a similar one. I sewed it to my mom and she brought me the best curtain fabric for things like that. Uh, so later in this video I will show you what my mom did. She basically sewed some elastic bands here and there and that was it. And after that I decided to wear the dress in a photo shoot. Me and my friend went on this gorgeous lavender field and took some photos which I'll show you in the end. So let's get started. This is the beginning of the dress and we're gonna sew this like this. So we're gonna sew all the way to the line and after that we're gonna keep the end open so that we can put the, um, the elastic from the side. Of course you're gonna measure your elastic so that when the fabric is sewn together it's gonna look like this, you know? And of course the elastic is gonna be smaller than the length of this side of the dress so that it creates this this kind of thing, you know? So obviously it looks small but when I put it on it, it looks really cool. So my mom had already sewn it together and we're gonna do the same thing that we did here uh, here this is the the waist and obviously we're gonna use a bigger elastic uh, we decided to sew an extra piece here we're gonna like the needle is still here because it's incomplete but I'm gonna show you we basic you basically put this in like this and then you sew it inside and you close it and you have the same thing that you have here on the waist uh, if that makes sense okay so far it looks like this it's quite transparent you can see uh, what's going on underneath <laughs> but yeah so it just has the elastic here and the second elastic is gonna go uh, here on the waist so it's gonna look like this I assume uh, yeah this used to be a curtain and we're gonna do the same thing that we did uh, here on the sleeves it's not gonna work with one hand but yeah so we're gonna so the sleeve is gonna start from here and we're gonna put one elastic on the top and one in the middle to create this uh, puffy effect let's see how that goes okay so I wasn't able to film the sewing process because my mom did all the sewing and I didn't want to bother her by bringing the camera along so basically you had the fabric and you fold it in a roll and just put elastic on top and on the bottom here it was made exactly like the elastic on the dress that I showed you so we did this two times and we decided not to sew these sleeves on the dress because this way it looks like it has more uh, versatility now I'm gonna try it on because I did a terrible job at explaining this okay you can definitely see my underwear under this so yeah, this is how it looks, this is, yep, <laughs> the sleeves are here, I can put them separately and I can have a lot of variations of this dress, I can have it like this and I can have it with sleeves and also the sleeves are long, they look like this, but you can do this and make it look like the one in the picture! That's cool! We like some versatile costumes! Let me show you how it looks with the sleeves long, like this. Honestly, this is very, very romantic and dramatic. And you can squeeze the sleeves like this, make it look like the one in the picture. 
and yeah basically it's done it's just a piece of curtain fabric that turned into a beautiful cottagecore romantic inspired dress and now it's time to test it outdoors in a beautiful field of flowers so let's see how that goes These are some of my favorite photos that we took. I really like how the dress looks on the camera and also I included some of the editing my friend did. Uh, it looks kind of creepy and dark and I really love it as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and actually get inspired to create something similar and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!